Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this video, we're going to look at the new features and changes that Microsoft is rolling out on the Windows 11 build 26200.5603 in the dev channel. But these changes also apply to build 26120.4151 in the beta channel, as both previews are virtually identical. Before we start, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. It is free and really helps to support the channel and my work. Also, check out my website for more tutorials and related tech news. Okay, first, in File Explorer, Microsoft is in introducing a new feature called AI Actions, and they will appear when you right click a file like an image, and from there you will be able to choose the different actions that you can take using AI features. These AI features are not actually built into File Explorer, so these are just shortcuts to features that you can use on other apps, such as Visual Search. This is to send the image to Bing using the web browser, and here we have also Blur Background and Erase Objects, but what these options are going to do is just to open the image with the Photos app to perform this action. And we also have the Remove Background with Paint. Now, currently, this only works for images, but in the future, you will be able to find AI actions for Microsoft 365 apps, such as for Word, Excel, and others. Now, if you use the Windows Share interface, you will now notice that when trying to share an image file, you will find this option that will allow you to compress the file before sending. From here, you can send it without any modifications, but you can compress the file to low, medium, or high. Now, in this preview, the settings app is also introducing a new advanced settings page. This page replaces the for developers page. And now we have a more organized interface with all the settings categorized depending on the feature. A lot of the settings we had seen on the for developers page. However, now we're getting some additional features. For example, the enable long path feature, it's new. And now to access the file explorer settings, we have to click right here. And that will take us to a different page where we can configure the different settings specific to File Explorer. Now, while we are on this page, if we look at the bottom, we're going to find the File Explorer Plus version control section. And this new feature allows you to connect with system like Git to view changes and comments directly from the app. You just need to choose the folder. To make it work, just click the Choose Folder button and select the folder that you have connected to a system like Git. Now, this section is also new, and while we have seen the access to remote desktop, the virtual workspaces page, it's new. And this one allows you to turn on and off different components related to virtualization, such as Windows Sandbox, the Windows Hypervisor platform, and the Virtual Machine platform. And at the bottom, you can also control some Hyper-V settings. In the past, if you wanted to turn this feature on and off, you needed to use the Windows Feature page, which usually you will find by searching for turning Windows Feature on and off. If we continue to scroll down, we can see that we have a new for developers section. And here's where Microsoft is actually going to organize the features that are more specific for developers. And Microsoft is also testing a new landing page to start configuring the Windows Backup app. Although the company is still refusing to add an option to move the taskbar to the top of the screen or to resize it, components of the taskbar are getting some improvements. For example, if we look at the system tray and then we open the quick settings flyout, and then if we go to accessibility, we are going to find that Microsoft is adding some description text for the different features that will make it easier to identify and turn on and off those features. Also, when performing a search from the taskbar, you will notice that the Windows Search Home interface will provide an indexing notification to inform you that some of the files might not appear while the system is indexing the files. You can see a notification right here and right here. Furthermore, Windows 11 is also testing a new widgets board layout that delivers more organized and engaging feed. We can also notice that the interface has been tweaked a little bit and the widgets have more rounded corners. And we also can see now that Microsoft is setting a section that is curated by Copilot. And if you don't like to see that widget, you can open the set and you can turn off the Copilot Discover feature right here. Microsoft also notes that in this update, it is improving how you set your default browser and file association on Windows 11. For example, moving forward, more file types and link types can be set as default through the Set Default button to make it easier 
to customize file associations. In this release, Microsoft is also introducing a new user interaction aware CPU management feature to improve battery life by making changes to the power consumption automatically when your device is not active. This will happen without user interaction and it will resume to full performance instantly when you get back to the device. Now, as part of this release, you can also use the Windows key, Shift, T keyboard shortcut to access the text extractor directly without having to open the app. And finally, Microsoft did not mention this, but if we go to the activation page, when you need to activate your Windows 11 installation or you need to change the product key, the dialog box has been updated to match the Windows 11 design. And that's it. Those are the biggest changes that we're going to see on Windows 11 build 26200.5603 in the channel and also on build 26120.4151 in the beta channel. Let me know in the comments what you think about these changes. Also like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.